Let's go. Hey, step back. Look at the wrist. Wrist, wrist, wrist. Let go. Let it go. Switch, switch, switch. Turn the heads, can't miss this. Run it up, it's my fitness. Windows limousine tinted. Stay up out of my business. Hey, you can never break me down. Need more to take me out. They was all cool back then. Now they wanna hate me now. Funny how it goes. Can I get a countdown and drum roll? No time ain't an option, no. Sit back, watch this unfold. But it ain't nothing, let me tell you something. Hey, yeah, one shot, one chance. Contest me, cause he envy everything that I got, what I am and he not, hold this one on the block, you know these boys don't got nothing but excuses, my whole squad been doing they thing, dropping nothing but exclusives, ooh, I know you see me step back, flossing, things don't get too close unless you proceeding with cars, yeah, I broke the moves out, I'm got nauseous, we can never settle for no loss, yeah, hey, but it ain't nothing, let me tell you something, hey, I know a place that will break you into a thousand pieces. Stay away from them. Stay away from Lorca, Paco, and Picasso. Don't ask about Lola. I, Caballo Grande. I, Lord Nieve. But in spite of everything, it occurs to you to visit Andalusia. Don't say I didn't warn you. Be careful of the Andalusian crush. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin, former professional Counter-Strike player and Valorant coach. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle, you're going to be able to fight this.
I'm out here in the cold night Running till I barely feel my feet Wanna see it through my own eyes There's no going back And I'm not afraid anymore Cause I know I'm gonna be the last one standing Yeah, I'm not afraid anymore Yeah, I don't wanna wait anymore I'm ready to fall Surrounded by predators It's critical, they got me in my element It's dirty, how you trying to keep it elegant Keep my eyes open wide When everyone around me is an enemy Welcome to the Riot Games Arena, live from Berlin, Germany. I'm Frankie Ward. I, I believe, Kukuka, you nearly called me Frankie Four then, which I enjoyed. I didn't. No, you didn't. I'm, I'm absolutely lying. You went one, two, three, four, and I thought, I'll have that. I'll have that no. for myself. No, 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 we'll be fine. I, I respect you, It's Frankie. fine. I am, I'm currently pregnant with my second child, who will be joining Fnatic circa 2040, I think. We're going to start training them now. Okay, yeah, I can yeah. see that happening. Yeah, aim yeah. laps, warm up, yeah. <laughs> gonna be yeah, taking gonna... place. Actually, to be honest, most of the time it does actually feel like it is taking place. So if at any point I look like I've been punched on the desk, it is because I have literally been punched from the inside. But hello, welcome was Josh. to Queen of <laughs> Stage 1. It has begun. I joked earlier that being with these two on the desk at Kuku and Steel, it is kind of like parenting practice because the two of them, you've got kind of this sibling dynamic going on. Do we judge? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently we do. So I'll just take you at face value for that. I'm not going to argue with it. 
Oh, oh wow. Well, I hope you do argue at some point, because it's kind of my job on the desk to make the two of you disagree with each other. But there's plenty of time for that to happen. Let's take a look at the standings for this week. We've got a particularly yeah, quite uh, quite spicy matchups coming this week. Mm -hmm. I mean, Navi versus uh, versus Casey is going to be particularly interesting. Yeah. I didn't realise that Navi were actually second for Team Omega right now. That surprises me. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy because this means a lot, and I think this week could be a turning point. Uh, remember that the two teams topping the groups will uh, skip one of the matches in playoffs, put them, put, it, put in them in one match away from making Shanghai. So it's very important that Foot and Navi can still win their games this week so they can still have that edge uh, moving into the next two weeks. So it's almost as if this is kind of like the bonus round of the group standings here to mm -hmm. see if they can, if they convert that bonus round, they're smooth sailing, but if they don't convert it, then yeah. we might have a tighter bit of a race. Yeah, absolutely. Your yeah, and the, and the alpha. Rehearse that. Sorry. I, no, yeah. I just made it up right now. That's why I'm smiling. So yeah, I was just thinking that things in, in Alpha, on the other hand, are looking so, so close that anyone could make it at this point. I think right now, with this Gentle Mates and, and Fnatic matchup, though, that we're going to have today, it's it's one of those matches that Fnatic really need to convert as well, because mm. if teams, the teams that didn't have the greatest starts need to start converting now, if they don't convert now, then there's still a lot of really good and, and even harder matchups in the coming weeks. So, so this is, as you say, the turning point. This is when teams need to show up and show us the best thing that they've got. And the teams, like we saw Gentlemates coming from last week, they looked flat. Fnatic looked really flat in week one. So I, I don't know which direction we're going to go in. Exactly. And at the same time, we had the two teams that we sent to Masters meant to loosen last week. So still everything is on the table, which is exactly what we want, right? We don't, for, for one side, especially when we think about international events, we want to send the best of the best that we have in EMEA. But right now, we do not know who to give that credit a credit for. Yeah, and we want to see the team showing up when they do get to Shanghai. But they've got a little bit of time to practice before then. You know who's not going to be showing up today, though, guys? Who? Clove. Clove oh. is not available. Clove is going to be hopefully starting in EMEA next week. And I'm, I'm disappointed because I was thinking maybe we get to see Angel bust out the Clove. They needed to nerf him after the A's. They know that giving Cl uh, Angel Clove is uh, too, too strong of a weapon for him. Okay, I think I think Clove could be played by a lot of duelist type teams that love playing lots of duelists. I think mm. they'll they'll run Clove for sure. Yeah, that's the thing. When I was looking at Clove's kit, I was like, oh, this is a build. I know it's a controller, but yes. they don't necessarily feel 100% controller. Like I've quite enjoyed playing them in Deathmatch, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's a it's an agent that is also created to bring some. Um, some more easiness for people when you're playing in rank to make the role more attractive of player and controller. It's, it's basically yeah. the clove has been designed <laughs> so for you're, me. It's you're not the point been designed it, for you okay, guys. It's not been designed for these guys. It it's been designed by me, and I, I will I will take it. Same with Harbor. Even if Boaster plays Harbor, if Harbor is good enough for Boaster, it's good enough for me. Let's take a look though now at um, at comps in a different sense mm. because Kakuka. I have a game. Often. I have a game, <laughs> and I named it Do You Come Here Often? And I got the idea after um, Foot ran that composition in Lotus with no initiator, and I thought, let's actually take a trip down memory lane and think about all the crazy, well, some of the crazy compositions that we've seen uh, from teams from, from EMEA throughout this lovely time. So I'm going to put you two to the test, uh, and of course the people watching from home. If we have seen the comps that I'm going to show you right now, we're going to do a dummy run so people understand how this is going to, to work. I'm going to show you a composition, as you're seeing right here. Sage, Cypher, Omen, Jet, and Viper. The map that it was played was Lotus, right? And then I'm going to ask you, was this comp played before? Yes, yes, it yes. was played before. Exactly. I will give you extra points if, you, if you're if you able was, to give me the team and if was, they won. It was foot. They won. I forget the score. I think it was 13-7. Because, be because it was against KC and I, I did some preparation stuff. So I revisited that map. Okay, lovely. Uh, so if we have that, let's, uh, you know, if everybody understood how this is going to work, let's just jump into our first composition. Let me see if I have this written down. Um, this is a composition for Haven and it has Breach, Race, Omen, Jet, and Chamber. When was the last time they played Haven? I, I just miss Haven, okay? okay. So, well, I, I what do you think? That you always put me on the spot in these quizzes yes. and bring up things from, from two years ago that no one cares about. Um, I'm kidding. This. I care, Josh. <laughs> I feel like this was a. Did Fnatic run this? No. Okay, uh, well, I'm out then. No, no, do, do, do you think it, it was? Uh, do you I have think to it say, was? No, 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 you don't have to say who it was. Has this been played? Has 
these I being could, played? In EMEA? In EMEA. Maybe not. I could definitely see like a, an American or an APAC team running this. Uh, no initiator, double duelist with breach. Well, which is an initiator? Yeah. What do you think, Frankie? It's not um, really. I feel like with this composition, I hate and I'm see, I'm so self-conscious about the fact that I'm going to be completely wrong about everything. But the race feels really off to me, so I'm going to say no. Okay, so you're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, yes, this was actually uh. a composition that Giants played last year against Navi, and they won with this composition on Haven. Just you know, it was not the first time that we saw something that we didn't expect. But let's move on to our second composition. Uh, this is going to be uh, Ascent, right? And we have Sova, again, a double duelist, uh, Race and Jet, Killjoy and Omen. <laughs> no, 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 you've got to be quick, you've got to be quick. Yes, be quick. it was played. Why not? No, it wasn't played. It wasn't played. Well, unlucky for me. Still, <laughs> you know, you need to keep, you need to put some reason The thing in. is, I was watching the better region last year, okay? Oh, 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 hang on a second. So we've dropped the whole our region now, have we? Well, I said, I said the being better here, region, being your region, not so, our region, okay. the other region. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to let that one slip because, uh, yes, this composition uh, was not played. Okay, this one's um, I'd, I'd make up, but made up. And then uh, we have a third one. It sounds like something Giants would Just to see though. if you can get, <laughs> just to see if you can get something right. Um, so <laughs> let, did, you, did they spoil it? <laughs> a little bit. I think we did a little bit of <laughs> no, spoiling. No, no, no. It's all right. Did we, we, we skip okay. past that one. We skip past that uh, one. It, Yumpy was there. Uh, what team does he play for again? <laughs> Unless it was like an elaborate bait troll thing and you you faked it. So, Production, why do you do this so, to me? Uh, I, I uh, composition for Split. Yeah. <laughs> Reyna, Breach, Viper, Race, Astra. I mean, you saw it. Yeah, I mean, it was Team Liquid, right? Yeah, okay. So. Do you think they won? Uh, well, it was Liquid era with Scream. I'm going to say no. Okay, you, you know what? I'll give you that. They did not win, okay? But we are down to see more crazy compositions. We want to see uh, the teams cooking up. Uh, so we'll be back with this uh, uh, segment further in the future. Yeah, I, we'll I, work on it a I little bit. I feel like at the end of that, we discovered that, yes, Josh comps here often, and, and clearly I do not. Uh, speaking of compositions, like Fnatic's been running new compositions on Vine Split and Breeze, and, and they've been cracking out the trademark uh, fantastic Utah combos as well. Yeah, I think Fnatic was really, they're known as one of the teams that kind of innovate. When a new map comes out, oh, Fracture's coming out, they're kind of like setting the meta on that. And that's something that we've come to really expect from Fnatic is, is how they kind of make their composition to have really good synergies. We're gonna see it here, time and time again, Gecko Flash partnered with Sky Flash, and then they're, they're fighting off of both. And the reason why this works so well is because you have to turn from the Sky Flash, which means that the Gecko Flash is gonna blind you, or you have to shoot the Gecko Flash, which means you're staring at the Sky Flash. We see this right here. We see the combos are coming nice in play. so strong, and then they're layering more and more util. We're gonna see Mosh Pit going down. Leo's gonna end up getting an ace here. It's just so good the way that they fight together with these combinations. So as, you know, kind of not great that they looked last week on uh, Breeze, Overall, especially with these combos and synergies, they're looking really good. And seeing Leo playing on the Gecko, it fits him so well, and it turns uh, as our minds back to what he was uh, last year. Maybe they did not innovate in the compositions, right? But they do innovate with what they have prepared. So it's lovely to see that they're cooking up something for this year as well. If you stay ahead of the curve, you don't need to change the curve. She's going to work on it. I have got time to work on it, actually, because earlier on, Kakuka checked in with Gentle Mates and Tank to look at some of their gameplay. So, LA, let's check it out. Hey everyone, I'm here joined by Natank from Gentlemates and today we're going to be talking about something that you and Gentlemates like a lot mm -hmm. and it's going to be the double duelist. So first of all, how are you doing? I'm good, and you? You ready for today? I'm yeah, okay, I'm ready. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, so tell me, why do you guys choose so much this double duelist? What makes it so strong that you decide to run it? Um, I mean, this is something strong that Loud uh, used to do um, before, so we just took the plan, like, we, we saw in them that uh, it's a possible choice to play double duelist and the coach thought that uh, I'm a very aggressive uh, player so it was a good fit for, for the team. <laughs> yeah, it suits me and uh, yeah, it's fitting well with the team. Uh, so me and Takas can take a lot of space for the team and 
giving us a round. Yeah, I'm going to show you a round uh, of a couple weeks ago when you played against BBL, and I want you to talk me through what's going on, what the plan is, because I think everything that you mentioned comes into play uh, in this round. So I'm just going to play it, and you can tell me what the plan is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. So you start round number six. Uh, you decide mm -hmm. to go for A, but you're pretty split. How do things work from here? Um, we take A in real fast. Um, with the flash, so they can't they can't cross wine. Mm -hmm. uh, on this one, I don't know why I don't take it first. Uh, maybe we just thought well, it's better to play safe. Maybe we need uh, like a uh, anti strat because maybe they they will play heavy main mm -hmm. depending on the teams. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bit of speed. Uh, Whalers mm -hmm. is going to use his ultimate also to gather some information. Yeah. You have two players and you use your wall onto A. Yeah, what do you want, want to achieve with this? We want to fake A, so on B they might uh, have timing and we want to to fake yeah, the, the eight bomb take. And uh, I save my ult, which is good for the... And you keep going, right? And you wait here. Yeah. Why is that? I mean, like, at this point, I'm like, okay, A is free, guys. So what we're gonna do it or the fake is gonna work and they're gonna go b and mm -hmm. it's gonna be fine mm -hmm. but um finally i think they got stopped yeah or they got uh, yeah they, they just come back well you still have all that space and also Bayas yeah. is is waiting for you right yeah it's like if we go b then maybe i got timing later to mm -hmm. just uh, come from the back mm -hmm. if they just leave all a if we succeed to plant on b mm -hmm. But there's something very interesting happens here, right? They and decide to take from mid. Yeah. Tell me. At this moment, I'm like saying, uh, okay, guys, uh, just come back on me on A. They are not retaking it. Uh, mm -hmm. We could just go A side. I have all A side. Just need you need to focus on short and garden, which. Uh, and I said uh, I'm gonna help you guys with my ult. Uh, mm -hmm. I love that you mentioned that, right? Because you just wait in this spot, and when you're going to take all that space, this is when you ult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cleared all the corners in case they're, they're close, and then I ult to help, and uh, so they can go on site easily. Yeah, I this fight. this looks very explosive, and it definitely worked against BBL. But for yeah. example, what do you think went wrong when you moved on to split and you played against Casey? Um, I mean against Casey it's different like they have such a different game style they are playing stacked all the time together it's like a, a big swarm walking together you know like uh, they are always a group of three or four uh, when they retake and stuff so it's totally a different game style than BBL which is good so um, what did you learn about this match um, we learned that it's good to watch Casey play like um, you can find solutions to counter them but it's totally different when you play it. Like they have, um, like it's. You can see, like okay, they 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 play all together, and you can maybe find timings or whatever. But when they retake, or when they retake uh, areas together, it's so strong how they do it. Like the micro is maybe uh, so important for them, and they just do it all together. Like one jumping and two guys peeking, and yeah. they, they do it. They're doing it very well. So well, now you've lived through it, right? So uh, <laughs> yeah. we hope that you improve that for today. <laughs> Best of luck today. Thank you. Even if the mates have improved things, is it going to be enough to beat Fnatic, who have also been making some improvements of their own computer? Yeah, exactly. I think it's going to be a tough matchup for both of them because of existence in one side. I think that he's going to come very, very well prepared. And every single thing that Fnatic has not been able to iron out for today is definitely going to come to fruition for a gentleman. I disagree. I think Fnatic's going to come in swinging. I think their floor has raised significantly, and I was really disappointed with how lackluster gentlemen looked, especially picking Icebox and running a 2022 comp last week. Well, it's 20. 24, so let's get this show on the road. Fnatic versus Gentlemates. And after a slow start to stage one, the Gentlemates are looking to pick up the pace. They might be the underdogs in this matchup, but they'll be looking to burn hot on the stage. Yes, that was a Phoenix reference. And disrupt the black and orange. Coach assistance, he always looks at the smaller details of his opponents. So has he found the antidote to what Fnatic want to do? Because they are here and they're going to try and keep the ball rolling rolling all the way to Shanghai. A loss today could mean disaster, but practice is back on track. So expect Fnatic to be fully back too. I think that, I'm looking at, I'm looking at Jake there. I thought he, he did a little bit of a sigh and then he, and he straightened up. <laughs> He's fine. They can hear us, okay. And this is a lot more serious now. Existence and Alma, sorry. I like to stare at people's faces. It's, it's become a problem in public. But the fist bump there, the huddles are starting and 
we were just talking about Gentlemates Steel, mm. and you were you were a little bit pessimistic. I was a little bit pessimistic because I. These are both teams, actually. Like of all the teams that are kind of in the league at the moment, they're the teams that are innovating the most, right? So we see Gentlemates running a lot of double duelists, a lot of kind of like not really conventional plays, and then you have Fnatic that are have been the trendsetter, and both of them didn't really bring out super, like a lot of new things recently. So that's kind of what we're looking for to see here. Have they spent the last week changing things up? Yeah. And we're we're gonna see. You know, Gentlemates picking Breeze against Fnatic as Fnatic lost that against Giant X last week. Yeah, exactly. No surprises on the bands here. Breeze is going to be the first match, as you say, and Joss. Is, it makes a lot of sense, right? But I think that uh, knowing that both teams have these perma bands, the preparation for the other uh, five maps, it, it's, it has to be there, right? That's gonna that's when it's going to come to fruition. Another thing to mention, when you talk about the innovation, these are the only two rosters in the entirety of the region that did not make roster changes within the five players um, that are... are uh, a play in um, coming into 2024. So that has to give them some edge, right? And some room for improvement and some innovation, as we're saying. Talk to me about this Breeze pick then. Do you think mm. the Gentlemates didn't make much of Dirk on Yori last week? I am. I feel like they're walking into a trap here. I think when they see Fnatic losing, oh, wait, is this like a. Is this something we can exploit? Is this something that is, you know, Fnatic not feeling super great on it? But when we look at how they lost, Fnatic, it's not that they lost just because they're bad at the map. They lost in like a very unconventional way. They were missing shots. They would go in with three, four, five people blind, two people swinging into them, miss like 15 bullets on them, and then instantly get treated out. So I, I feel like they're walking into a trap here. Yeah, there's no changes in the compositions as we're seeing, as we're expecting. If the preparation is here for both of the teams, it has to come into fruition. We need to see a Durka that is feeling comfortable on the attack, that is having the effect uh, that he needs to have. And rightfully so, if they're starting on the defense, he needs to have some edge. I think that we've had so many good showings of what a Yoru can do in a map like Breeze. We need to see the Durka that once was probably the best duelist in the entire world. Why are we not seeing him as the best in duelist in the entire world I don't world think right he's now? comfortable enough. I think that we also hyped up this Euro for him. So, well, he hyped it up and the rest of Fnatic as well. But now when we saw him play, he was a little bit like Lester. He, he didn't feel as comfortable as he was before in other agents like Jet and obviously Raze. I don't necessarily 100% agree with that. I feel like he was comfortable enough. It, it did really come down to just missing shots. We, we did see him making a few good clutches as well, like the flash through the pyramid on A and, and getting that one versus three. But it's just they have flash combos they just can't convert for some reason. Well, you know what? We get to see a battle of the Euros. Who's going to have the better one, Takas or Durka? It's going to be a very interesting story. So let's start telling it with our casters, Pansy and Hypox. Thank you so much. Lovely to see Frankie out here, joined by Steel and Kukuka on the desk. Mike, this, I, I think the desk summed it up well. It's a turning point in the season yeah. now. Teams need wins. Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. I think the biggest thing from last week, I think the, the, the elephant in the room almost is the Icebox comp for Gentlemates. I think it signifies kind of a, a requirement now for exploring different compositions, maybe catching up, updating a little bit. And that's not to say, you know, the Phoenix hasn't worked in certain areas, but yes. just showing kind of an awareness of what's going on around them, what other teams are doing, what's working well for other teams, and trying to adopt a little bit of that themselves. Now, you come across to the other side, obviously Fnatic have been a little shaky to kick things off. So there still is an opportunity here for Gentle Mates to not necessarily come away with a, 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 like a clean series win, but at least draw some blood, maybe instill some sort of confidence. Yeah, I think that's the key element, isn't it? Just we're looking at what takeaways we're seeing here. I know a lot of people are looking for one, Durka to look comfortable on Yoru, to look confident on this role. And beyond that, see Fnatic kind of playing up to expectation on the other side. Can Gentle Mates be disruptive? So far, Ducks being played in oh, fantastically. This is what an opportunity to shine. Three back to back, that's confidence. And that was very well played. Finding just a space in the wall to play from. And the spikes left in no man's land, sadly for Logan. It's not looking likely. And no, not gonna happen. Durka off to a blistering start here. You get one of those. With a Viper War like that, Yoru, yep. you get one of those rounds. Comes here to kick things off on Breeze. Four kills on the board for him. Great progress towards the ultimate already. Necessarily, I guess, uh, we're obviously looking for numbers today from Durka. Looking for comfort, looking for that impact once again, sure. Definitely what you want to see coming out of the pistol round. 
from him. You do want to see him confident. Yeah. Back in a position to do some damage here to gentle mates. Oh, gosh, early progress towards the ult as well. That's that's a big factor going forward. I wonder if he gets the opportunity to utilize it. Again, we're speaking about alts. You also look on the other side, right? You're looking at the tank there as well, building early, potentially Takas. Talked about it at the start as well. I love that uh, little video content we got from Bayer there, talking to the tank about that idea behind the double duelist, how they kind of lend towards it because they liked what Loud did. It complemented that aggressive style that they like to play with. Right now, we're not going to see it in this round more than likely. I mean, we've only got a ghost and a couple of classics, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's not really in effect here. But I like the concept. I want to see it executed, though. Well, Marshall as well in that, so there is oh, a chance right. to at least find a pick. Yeah. Whether or not will come through. I mean, Takas fell at the first hurdle, yeah. unfortunately. Tank gonna try and make work with it here. I think initially maybe it was spotted from Chronicles and so no, no real desire to give away a peek, but Alpha's still curious. Yeah, but you know what heard happened to the cat. You've got to be a little careful here. Most are forced away. They're taking space here, gentlemen. They're trying to work the map, see if they can punish anyone from Fnatic for overpeaking, trying to take too much information back. Gonna have to somewhat respect oh. this. Yeah, nothing really gifted to the tank there. He was desperately trying to find that opportunity. No one really opening up here. Fnatic sitting very, very disciplined on this. Charles uh, here for to find more, actually. Boast of take him away. Yep. Down and he has a. claimed another. That's Whaler's gone, so right on the verge of the ult now. Two away for himself. Logan, that's got a bit of timing here. I oh, couldn't quite connect. Ten seconds so left. again, you're looking for Durka to build, and I think Boast are even allowing that there. They are trying to get that ult coming through, and Andalusia flawless here in the second. Fnatic very disciplined there. Yep. You can five alive. No further investment required here. Like you said, we're actually one away from the ult now for Durka as well. So a big tool at their disposal, potentially for a retake. Obviously on the defense, not really going to see Durka go crazy into the back lines. Well, maybe if he's feeling himself after the first couple of rounds. Ten seconds left. There's always a chance. Beautiful round, boys. Beautiful round. Keep this up. And the game plan there from Boast up. Keep things as clean as possible. Well, okay. Gentlemates are going to be able to disrupt that at all. That's what Dirk is up to, yeah. A lot of space here, being proactive, don't mind it. Almost played in by the shot behind him. The timing could be excellent in this. He's going to hear all these steps too. They're, they're sitting so deep towards A, yeah, Mike. They they're, they're allowing this space to be taken to put this in motion. And I think the timing might be right. I don't think Logan's even considering coming back through the camera. We'll spot this over. There's an issue, right? There's still an issue. This They have taken over the site. The pressure's on. Fantastic flash from the tank. You can go deeper here with the ult if he wants to. He's, I wonder if he's considering it. Yeah, no. Takas the one to find Durka. Chronicle already considered. Yeah, they're eyeing this one up. Couldn't connect the tank. Really good round here. Again, it is the bonus, but they did come in with a couple of rifles for Fnatic. So does Boaster and Leo get anything out of this now? I'll look to do some damage here, force the repurchase at all. And the tank and Takas that will be the first. The ones that have taken any damage just yet. But Gentleman is fairly comfortable to sit back on this. It doesn't look as if Fnatic are really too urgent in terms of hunting things down. No. Toxins going up. Yeah, Boaster and Leo happy to just see if one's gifted. Mm. Toxin screen down. Well, maybe actually, no, as they drift towards the other end of the tube. Ooh. Takas got to be careful. You want to keep those rifles up. Well, Leo already finding the a tank. Takas going to try and stop the rock. Boaster going to try and dip away. Low HP, but he's been caught there. Gentlemates, very nice response. Again, bonus round from Fnatic, though, but they took the space there. Like what I was seeing from Gentlemates. Yeah, for sure. It was, uh, again, I don't think this is something that should have come as a surprise too much, but how deep the tank's able to get is what's really, really surprising there. Mm. Obviously, Tak has the one to follow up on him. One enemy remaining. Yeah. So far, so good. And also in a tank. Not having to burn that ult there. Nice to keep in the back pocket coming yeah. into the buy round. Yeah, again, kind of tempered aggression. Didn't want to over overheat too much. Yeah. But I said there was a chance to really dig a little so deeper there. Here. Oh, speaking of ults, though, Here. Dirk could go and walk about. He's, he's now noting where Logan's playing from. Yeah, that was the downfall. On, oh, and he's teed up Chronicle. Look at that. The hunting squad behind the ult, setting that emotion with real intent to shut it down. Now they can Not sign over. a funnel Not in dead. towards the site. It's not really looking to take this back, but it looks like gentlemen do want to take a fight here, though. This isn't something they're willing to just instantly get the plot yes. down for, but Durka in the back lines. Dispatching of Takas. And that spike yet to be planted. 
Ayaz drifting, trying to find a little bit of safety, but there isn't yeah. much safe here. I was going to say, a weird stalemate here where actually there might be a chance for the spike to make its way all the way through the defender's spawn. A little bit of hesitation here, maybe. Chaotic in the comms. No chance. Bears is still here. He's found Durka. He's looking for a second, but going to get shut down here. Spike dropped. Whaler's left to try and recover this, and not much left to do. Fnatic will find a third. Love that call, though, Mike. Using the ult there from Durka. Yeah, I, was, I was surprised. And again, even you look at the minimap initially, then you think, yeah, it's going to be difficult to guarantee some value off this, be it information, be it a kill on the other side. Oh. But Chronicle's here so quickly. Love seeing that, though. We were talking about Fnatic elevating, looking like they're playing as that five again, backing each other up, coming up with concepts, and even the adaptation from the bonus to the buy, right? The bonus round went through Tube, didn't have the success, denied by the camera coming out of Logan. Okay, next round, we've already adjusted that, we've identified it, and let's problem solve. Like seeing it, it's a good course correction. And I mean, Chronicle now two away from his ult. He's making nice progress there, and that was the tank burning his in that round. So again, if you're looking at the smaller benefits too. This is a good tick in the box for Fnatic, but generally still with enough of a purchase here to be a problem, to be a threat, but patience. I think they're trying to figure out what they're up against here. I mean, almost, yeah, I mean, it's in the tank with a sheriff in hand, you almost... Give him the gun, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, especially for the sheriff, give it to Logan. You know what he's capable of. <laughs> Utility invested over towards B here, so we boast to try and slow this down if yeah. at all possible. Yeah. It is all just a oh, fake, nice. though. Drone and the clone sent in. Now, actually, Bayaz. I must wait a moment. A chance here to catch something potentially in mid here as Alpha to figure out the timing. Yeah, look at these rotations. They are so quick to this as well. Chronicle are going to deny that first step towards at least the plant that they were potentially they going for. The here. Yeah, they absolutely have. The support system's already there. Durka slipped the net too. The spike. Chip damage done. Chronicle not really backing away. Could have maybe waited. Untradeable there. Backline dealt with. Gentlemates digging in their heels. Finally, Alpha corrects the ship, but it's Bayaz on the lurk. This could be huge. Timing everything, though. Whalers and, and Takas need to keep their attention focused this way. Good turn from attention from Alpha, but still, there's, there's no reason to deny for now. Push! A booster. He's got this. He's got this every day of the week. Fnatic, fantastic. On the playback through with the Red Bull clutch coming in for Boaster. But keeping cool there in that really quite hectic round at the end. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, there's a chance here for Bayers in a position. He's the one to invest the drone to really sell that fake. And unfortunately, I think he just misses the mark a little bit. I was talking about maybe catching Chronicle ahead of this A-site here, but Chronicle's like, well, we know it's a fake. I'm just charging through mid here. It's going to be the weaker area of the map for Gentlemates. And he's the one to actually come through, prevent the spike from being planted initially. Clutch. Yeah, this does come through with two, but uh, again, in terms of the positioning, just played out of this round. And again, the, the one thing I will say when you're talking about Fnatic, and, and again, I think their recent form has left a little bit, you know, a lot of people wanting a bit more, but it, they suffered a loss on this map just last time we, we saw them. They've clearly been working on, it feels like a lot of kind of synergy-based stuff, the amount that they're playing off each other, the quick rotations, the correct reads, a lot of the fundamental stuff, the kind of more um, in-game leadership stuff, the responses, the protocols look solid so far. But Both it's hard to take contents because sure. we don't know where gentlemates land. Well, I mean, the other thing is you can only ever really call it an off day when you see the next reappearance of that map, the performance, yes. how Fnatic approach it, and whether or not they're able to uh, clean certain things up. I mean, already here, Durka, I'd probably say it himself, had a stinker last time. Yes. Individually, numerically. Ah, but look at him now. Starting to feel comfort. Reading gentlemates quite nicely. This adaptation towards middle, not feeling the pressure on the extremities. A commitment through tube as well, noted. So again, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. There's no freebies here. Durka is everywhere. Omnipresent on the map. And Bosa now knows that, okay, mid might be next. Got to be careful of this. Everyone in the right place. A tank what with a belt to right back, though. Keeping seconds left. some safety to this. They've got themselves a plant. They need the backup to it. And Logan with the I sheriff. It's a quick exactly. reminder, but it's a stark one. This guy's nasty with it. And that's what I'm talking about. Alpha's fallen. That's an upgrade. Can Chronicle and Leo break back the through? Land. Actually landed next to the wall here. Not on the back side of the pyramid here. But Leo's found one. The tank will fall. Chronicle next to try and find Takas. Ooh, this is so close. This is so sketchy. Logan's a problem for later. They still need to clear past Takas. And Leo's taken down. Oh, my word. A reminder of who these two are. 
Clutch always capable when they are standing. Throw Alpha, throw anyone in there. This is looking like Fnatic of old a little here. We're seeing some of that nice chemistry between them, but a dicey round towards the end. Some of that individual prowess highlighted there by Gentle Mates. I mean, Gentle Mates made a bloody good go of this, to be yeah. honest with you, of what they had. After the start. Yeah, I mean, two openers found from Durka. A fantastic shot from the tank and two follow-ups, actually, from Logan. Still enough One utility at their disposal to dislodge this post-plant hold of gentle mates. We do come away with that, like I said, a lesser purchase here, Time so... Jump. Damage done, but now they have some ultimates at their disposal. Takas wants oh. to potentially lead the way here. Maybe you're going to couple it with Bayaz. Anyone, anyone could potentially work off the back of this. Chronicle's going to be spotted. He's going to answer back with his ult. So what does Takas do with this? He wants a bit of everything. It was all a fake, all a ruse towards A. They are the fakey people, boys. Yeah. And how do they plan to clear the back of Pillar? Takas actually has a pocket to play from, and Logan's already found Leo. The tank, gonna find Boast up. Durka, Alpha, and Chronicle. Oh, God. Durka can't stop now. After a shocking week before, looking like he wants to correct numerically. And Durka's answering back with his own ult. Spotting out the players, and Alpha already gonna find Logan. They're chipping away at the numbers here. Chronicle towards Bayaz. It's all information free flowing and no plan, no time on their side. Gentle mates in a bit of a predicament, but a shot like that could certainly help. And Durka now found he's banking on Chronicle to cut through this space as quick as he can. Flash and the clone stops and what is that? Durka snappy to diff Takas here. And Chronicle, he's found the tank as well. The flash off flash. both ways, actually. Oh, and the tank, he's isolated one. It's a 1v1. Durka against the tank. Heavy hitters for both sides. 30 seconds. Time. Though. Of course he has. Confident in his choices. Oh, does he even catch the cross? He's considering a he lurk through middle. He might catch side cross. Oh no, he's not swinging no. bridge. Oh. 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 A oh, different day, choices. that would have been a shot hit, but he's taking his time here and rightly so. The flash comes in, he's blind. Free fire, spam, and the tank's got him. Durka caught at the very end. The Red Bull clutch coming through for the tank. I mean, this flash is just so deep, it catches full effect on Durka. Confidence from the tank to follow up, and I think actually Durka hits the panic button a little bit here, trying to spam yeah. onto the angle in case the tank swings. Chaotic exchange over towards B site here. And this scene felt like Fnatic were gonna be able to hold on there. Doesn't come to fruition though. Gentle mates, find a second. We'll call a timeout here. Mm. Have touch base. Hopefully we get to see the perspective. I, I imagine it's, actually it's Bayaz doing a lot of the talking, it looks like. Wondering if it was more of an existence timeout, pumping the brakes, maybe identifying something early they wanted to correct. Again, you'd argue that we are seeing the tank kind of saving a couple of these rounds here, made the last one possible for sure. And maybe wanting that overall approach now. Yeah, a lot of talk from existence. Going through options, notepads out, having a chat. What page are we on? I can't count that line. Yeah, we're still at the top. Okay, so we're, we're in the early too stuff. deep just yet. Yeah, we're not in the OT strats. <laughs> yeah, Fnatic come out of that now with three ults of their own. Mm. The Pit, the Hunter's Fury, the Newell Theft, the Alpha as well. Not necessarily game changes, but just close down that first ult cycle now with Durka and Chronicle. Already spending theirs. Yeah, I mean, previously, Gentleman's able to actually coordinate a lot of pressure towards A here to try and pull off that fake, and even so, still two members for Fnatic over towards B. Unable to really slow that down, though. Don't get in my way. Pit towards mid. Don't have to, I, I imagine Durka might have heard some steps here. I don't know how meticulous they're going to be clearing through this. Look at the timings, everything. Big teleport. He, he has no idea. Oh, now he certainly does. The tank turns, but it doesn't matter. Two for one discount for Fnatic. Yeah, they lose Durka, but they take down the tank and Takas. The tips of the spear are now gone. What can the three now achieve? This is brutally hard to try and get through. It's here. Awful timing for the poison orb to be dropped. Gonna take him out. And Durka punishes. Standing ahead. Not from Bayaz. Oh, no Alpha's whereabouts, roughly. But Hunter's Fury oh, sent from afar. Oh, yeah. It's just a clean oh, up here. <laughs> you talk about combination work. Alpha teed up by Leo. We're seeing some vintage scenes here, Mike. 
Nice to see that coming back into effect. It was something that we saw kind of the desk alluding to as well. Kind of the combos they were known for bringing out, steel highlighting it. Uh, uh, Kukuka on the desk kind of discussing it too, but we're seeing them kind of... Uh, I, I, it almost feels like a relapse, but in the best way. Like, we're seeing some of the stuff that made Fnatic such a difficult team to deal with. <laughs> so I was like the, 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 the 4 x speed yeah. <laughs> code POV. Yeah, I mean, it, it coming back, we, we talked about obviously Durka having an off performance previously. That's, Fnatic have never been that kind of individual you want a piece of sort of team. It's, it's, it's when they work as a unit that they do look best. Cool, again, the one to punish Takas trying to throw a Marshall in to an eco round. Retrieved here. Alpha, a solo task to hold down. Eh? He does have a little bit of support further afield. Let's see if Gentleways have their sights set towards him. Still got that same vertical trip, or is it a little deeper this time? Just looking at there. No, so there's one over towards default here. Gentleman's got to be careful on the way in. There we go. Audio heard. He's actually been kept safe by this. He's creeping oh a little God. bit closer, but he's not under scrutiny yet. You can see the same reveal. Rinse, repeat, and succeed. Go take down Bayaz. But One Natak's actually broken through the back lines, but by this point, the support system's coming into play. You already have that rotation from Durka. Sadly, for Gentlemates, they're not finding any sort of impact in these rounds here. Very robust from Fnatic. And the protocol's just on point Moving here. He said Alpha not feeling any pressure whatsoever. And the recon coming through at exactly the same time, setting him up for further success. One enemy oh, oh, oh. Tough now, five round deficit. Into round 10. Good job, good job, nice depth. He's only really in the tank of Bayers that have any sort of tangible funds to take away. Uh, Durk is in on 16 to 6. Yeah. There's been a lot of question marks around this man, but there's a lot of credit to be put to this. He's having a very good game. Now, remember last time Durk went on this walk, he was backed up. He had the likes of Chronicle by his side. And look at the response from Fnatic. It is not just one. Alpha's out in the middle. This is going to be a brawl and a half. Bloody hell. Is this deathmatch here? Boaster's out there finding the tank. Okay, looking to maybe back away from here. I love this, though. Even just the sound cue to make a couple members of Gentlemates turn. We'll give Boaster a freebie here from Double Doors. Now, that's the paranoia, right? You're clearing all the way back through your own spawn, basically. We'll explore towards beach. <laughs> Dirk is still a nuisance. Dips his toes and gets out. Chronicles to double down as well. Takas will fall. And these are the rough rounds where gentlemen can't even have a say in it. They don't even get a chance to set up. The default just completely shut down before it has any chance to take effect. And kind of, uh, I don't think these two are going to get much luck here, if I'm honest, Mike. But does this look more comfortable from Durka? Or is this that gentlemen aren't the same? You know, sort of challenge. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean the, the, a lot of the examples we saw from Dirk was just left. straight up whiffing, not not yep. hitting shots, not being, you know, as as clean or uh, on point as we have seen Last him in the past. Standing. Uh, this again, putting himself into <laughs> positions where he can succeed once again. So obviously, his confidence isn't knocked. But yeah, definitely individually, Ten he is certainly left. delivering this time around. Uh -huh. been a couple of really nice pieces around this, though. Yeah. It, it, and it, as I said, it's not just that individual effort. You're seeing the entirety of Fnatic behind it. And Bayaz is very blind, and Durka is there to put him out of the misery and close out the round. A, a, a strong lead, and again, I think it's it's hard to take full context because Gentlemates are new to this still. Yeah, and what's rough is this is a round where it, it, Gentlemates are on a purchase. They have yes. four ultimates to use in this round. And that's the one that Fnatic decides to be very, very aggressive, make use of Durka's ultimate themselves. And double down, they're invested behind it. Chronicle's trying to swing again. Boasters coming out of double doors. It's, like I said, they are looking to secure these rounds. And like I said, that's one you want to take away from Gentlemates with these ultimates available. So they don't even get a chance to really set up, find any information across the map before Dirk is in the back lines. Okay, this time a little bit of a different look here, though. We are seeing the operator out in play for Durka. And the switch up of position, too. Alpha over towards that B site. Boaster there as well, back lines. But you're right, uh, the, the issue through. is that Gentlemates, 
yeah, they don't have a team running at them this round, but they're still operating with just, you know, a Sheriff here and there, a Guardian or two. It's so hard for them to have just a normal round here. Alpha trying to make a go of it, going to deny the tank instantly as well. Snake by here, though, to slow yeah. things down behind it as well. They, they just can't get to the side. Look at the stall. Wailers finds a way in. Leo only going to be good for one. Traded out by Logan. Chronicle comes through. It's all on Durka. 1v3. You got some magic for us now. No plant in play. A quick TP. Hello. Oh, that's audacious. Good trade for Logan. They keep it safe. Three for Gentlemates here. You get on the force as well. You expect this to come through in the previous. Ults get invested behind this with Gentlemates. Feel as if they have something to cling on to. Oh. Whalers is the one to open things up here. Two beautiful shots with the Guardian. They seem fairly... I mean, a lack of consideration, to be honest. You're on the side of Fnatic there. That was even a possibility. That goes there. So a chance here to recover, I guess. Well, the final hurdle for Gentlemates in this first half. Looking very different. Oh, potentially a 10-2, 9-3, and now yeah. on the brink of maybe closing this out 8-4. Do you feel like a big win for them? Oh, absolutely. To even sit at a four-round deficit. Timing on this. Be interesting. Fakes on A not really working. I mean, Alpha's going to be happy sat there. He's been very, very comfortable at this point. A little bit more of an attention towards middle coming out from Durka, Chronicle, and Leo. So you can see the ults coming in from Takas. Gonna try and isolate on the site, see how Boaster handles this. He looks for the second line, and he finds the tank tripping. Oh dear, it's a fumble from Takas and a tee up from Boaster. He'll take that every day of the week. And now middle is still a problem, though. Logan finds a little bit of value, but then Durka doubles down. Spike now left in a very tough position. And yeah, Dirk is just denying all of this. I, I don't know what Whalers can achieve. Nothing. Yeah, that uh, fizzled out quite quickly there, Mike. I mean, fair play to Boaster. Catching, obviously, the kill onto the tank here as he tries to get ahead of the snake bite, maybe, or just brute force his way in, but nobody to follow up on that. Takas, maybe, uh, I don't know if he missed times, just coming out of the ultimate, wanted to be around the corner. Yeah. And he's kind of, I mean, I'll be honest, caught with his pants down, really, at that point, and Boaster's allowed to fully reset off mm. that first kill because there's no follow-up to the tank. There's yes. no second player to draw Boaster's eyes back towards main and allow Takas to really backstab here. But, like I said, you've got to credit the utility usage here. It's a 9-3. <sighs> Tough start here for Gentlemates. Yeah. Now this is to, their uh, map pick. Yeah, and have to make this composition really, really excel on the defense here. Watch your eyes. We'll see. It looks like aggression's the name of the game, right? Out of charge. Looking that way. But initially, just throwing a few things at Fnatic. Let me see what sticks. I don't think anyone's been spotted just yet. No. Bowser's is certainly oh. paranoid about it, and now sees two progressing through tube. You can see the tank trying to come on over. B. Maybe a support system through Tank's door. Ready here with a flash. Mm -hmm. If they do open this door. But I'm looking at main as well. This split's going to be really tough, especially now Bears lost out. And the tank needs to win this fight. They're trying to back away. Really good flash. Going to find Alpha and try and progress the. Oh my word! Made a, a, a good attempt towards it, but they'd already lost out on main as well. The plant should be here. Whalers, so Logan, and Takas. There's a lot of presence in middle. Now I think Leo's waiting for this as well. Yeah. Dirk is able to post up on it as well. Tough angle to break. White swing. Nah, not going to get past Leo. Uh, Takas, you got something for us here. 1v3. Yeah, Leo's a little low, so 1v2.5. Tough with Boaster's position, though. Yeah, yeah that's is, really yeah. rotten to deal with. It's, it look, look at how much they're making him work for this. It's, <laughs> it's so <laughs> horrible to try and deal with. Takas is getting nothing for free. Fnatic, make it up to 10. Looking, I mean, there was a little bit of threat there, Mike, but it, it was handled well. Yeah, it was. I mean, the tank has to kind of double down on this. He has to try and... Beautiful shot there. Didn't cast it off screen, but Dirk's shot onto Bayaz was fantastic. But yeah, the tank has to try and convert that into a kill, unfortunately, in Tube, to really have any sort of recovery in this round after Bayaz falls. A little bit of desperation here, but Fnatic double digits on the board. 
Oh, it's scary now, though, isn't it? Because it's just so quick to 11. You're going to need... I, I don't know what you can get in this. You, you feel like you're going to be facing 11 regardless, right? Yeah. So can they maybe get the tank building that all up? Is there something they can try and bank on? But Takas not being given much room to work. If we've been praising Dirk, we've got to also look at the other side on the other Yoru for Takas. I think he's only got three kills so far. He's not been having the same sort of impact. And, well, he won't be getting a chance to make it up to four kills. Just it, it has been a bit of a lockout for him. Again, patience being displayed. Fnatic allowing gentlemates to take a look, take a chance, but no one really going to be extending beyond that. They've already found Takas, who was drifting towards middle. Yeah, plenty of space and time for Fnatic to work with. An excellent preemptive rotation coming out. Dirkus fake only going to make this worse now. Yeah. Got a TP all the way back across towards tunnels. And B's completely open. Yeah. I mean, you've got, you, you got to gamble sometimes, right? You've got to roll the dice. Maybe they were hoping there was commitment behind this. And they might be able to find Durka. That, that could be something. He's probably happy to just give it away, to be honest. Oh, oh, well. Well, guess not. <laughs> and Durka's almost got his ult. Oh, well, he's going to get off the plant here. I got the fight. We're having it available for the third round of the second half. 24 to 8, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely lights out. This is what you want to see. Really, with questions hanging over his head. Mm. Definitely what you want to see in the first map of this series. And he's not done just yet. Oh, oh, that's the old... Oh, is. Yeah, I mean, he already had it from the plan, but still, yeah. You have got to be a bit cautious in this. Don't want to overdo it. Yeah, Bayaz, last one here, and it's shut down. Fnatic, move on to 11. Gentlemates. It, it starts now, right? And it's 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 a very small window to try and make impact happen. Yeah, and unfortunately, with uh, the value that Fnatic have been able to get off Durka's ultimate alone, mm. I'm going to argue they're going to be able to find themselves a way into this round now, which will give them map point. It will break the bank once again of gentle mates. Almost in financial turmoil now in this half. Yeah. Yeah, this bonus round looking scary. With the ult to supplement. I mean, yeah, because well, it's the two Getting scopes in the previous, so actually... <laughs> just two Bulldogs, that's only the weak part of this purchase. <gasps> oh, <gasps> what? Where did that... Did, did the tank even Tanky see jump. him? I, he must have done, but it... <laughs> felt like a very small amount was seen. Flash. Well, red by the tank as well. Really nice read from him. Expecting that pressure point to come in through the, the double doors. Wrong. He's gonna need some help here though. He can't do it alone. Bayaz gonna lean a little closer towards yellow. And the tank trying to stall out. Still worried about main, rightly so. Gotta be careful. Oh dear, Fnatic finding value elsewhere. Finding all the players trying to hit that back line. And now it's just Bayaz and Logan. They even lost out on the tank at the same time. Bayaz gets spotted, but he outdoes Durka. So a 3v2 and a pause. Fnatic looking to see if anyone's going to overextend yeah. here. Going to freeze once again, cut sound. Durka, obviously trying to capitalize on selling the rotation here. But Bayas has given up a sight. Well, he's crossed here. He's back up in towards two. Going to try and get proactive here in the downtime. That could cause a big left. issue, actually, yeah. if he gets himself in towards main. Obviously, with idea. Alpha losing, there's a real lack of information across the site right now. A Fnatic previously did take the space behind site. Uh, planting front side this time. Boast is seemingly aware of the possibility. Between the knife from Chronicle, the dart from Leo, it, it seems like the consideration yeah. was there. They cleared quite a bit. But flight. still, it, it is a problem to try and hold this, right? They're kind of pinned on the site. Revo roll reversal. And now you're going to see if Logan can maybe find some value. He's got a 1v1 to try and win. Boaster swings the wall and loses. Logan now gets to step a little closer. Bayaz needs to now that take a little bit of the attention standing. back. He can't do it. Chronicle sat safe from this angle. What can Bayaz do to try and break in? He doesn't have the dart to depend on. Can't reveal any of these positions. And he can't get past Leo. Fnatic up to 12 now. The bonus converted. And this is when the issues start, yeah. <laughs> it's not been a hard game for Alpha. No, no. <laughs> he sinks into his chair. Oh, that's Abs. what the tanks saw. Fair play. Yeah. Yeah, Fnatic able to catch everything and more in mid as this rotation comes through. Gentleman's feeling a little frantic there. Maybe a little panicky. Obviously, the scoreline pressure has to be considered. 
We're into now Fnatic map point. Rifles here. There's Guardians to round it out though. And the response. Instantly sent away Natang, not going to get what he wanted here, but he's trying to set this up. The pressure is coming through Tube and it's working so well. Takas comes alive. Three quick kills off the back of that ult. Everyone's attention turned. They didn't expect that. Alpha, time to sit up in the chair, bud. He's got to right his wrongs from the previous. He's not had the most fulfilling of games. I think he's only really been on the receiving end of a couple of rounds. But now a chance to shine. Fires okay, out. clean enough. 70 HP still to play with. Got a 1v3 now. One minute. He's aware Logan's going to try and find something coming out of B or mid. Mm. You can see on the X-ray there, Logan doing just that. This is a good cross now. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so, gentlemen, it's cling to life here. But I like that, Mike. I like that play up tube. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's... it's Again, at this point, uh, gentlemen have to be decisive with this composition, but they just don't have the rounds mm. to play with. These are the sort of executions you expect to see to capitalize on that. Take maybe one or two members down or low on Fnatic and kind of weaken them ahead of a site here. Fortunately, I think we're only going to see maybe one or two of those. Depending how long this run does go. This goes here. Fnatic's still fairly comfortable. I'll say that, there's two Bulldogs and a Guardian mm. to round this out, but Hunter's Fury and Durka's ultimate. So a chance to maybe synergize those. Durka to just uh, spoon feed an entry here on the back of the information. But I do quite like how deep Gentlemates are sitting here. Uh, I'm a bit worried about I this. I think it's though. because of that ultimate, to yes. be honest. They're, yes. they're, they're almost playing to stack up on B and, and concede a lot of space on A. But I'm scared of them walking mid. Yeah. This is, this is a coin flip of whether it works or not. Oh, this is so dangerous. It could work out. Hands in the air on the other side. They're going to hear the snake bite, though. I'll handle this. He did, yeah, Whaler's definitely Who's heard next? this. Here. All the timing. Oh, yeah, Dirk did one spot, yeah, but mid. ping out. Onto Logan. But I don't know. I don't think they saw Whalers, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, Boaster uh, has heard these steps Yeah. Now. But he's been found. Heard that utility earlier on, but the plant's going to come and in and the site's still under control. Oh, All came through from that. Chronicle going to invest. Alpha waiting for the support to come back through from main. See if anyone's going to try and hit that flank, but still. Oh, Whalers! Big shot on Durka. That's, that's two. Chronicle can't be res now. Yeah, information, but what's that going to do for you now? A slow death in the end. Didn't even get a kill credit. <laughs> it's rough. I can find it. But a 2v4 now. Gonna need some big boy aim here. Not gonna happen, Logan. It's all on Leo, but he has to close the gap. And it's not gonna happen. Gentlemates holding on now. Holding on. I think Chronicle just thinks he has another five to ten seconds here to obviously kill himself with the fragment. I believe he was seven HP before, obviously yes. pops the ult. He's trying to get himself down for an HP reset, but it draws Durka into an odd spot where he gets punished. Really, really awkward situation here. And unfortunately at this point, the two remaining members forced back into main. No way to recover that. Okay, buy now in the hands of gentlemates. Economy left a little shattered on the other side. Really just that hero rifle with Chronicle, two Guardians and two Sheriffs. Leo's ult is still there, but on the other side, no ults yet. Bay has one off from his. Be a little careful. Gentlemates, how disciplined, how patient are they gonna be here? Fake maybe off the back of Boaster's wall. With the right Knife as well, yeah. Flash and the Vandal here, but yeah, we're really looking for him to make as much noise as possible, maybe pressure towards one. Dawn Bay has a little deeper, but Coming the tank's through. still here. Uh, hey, look, gentlemen, to run those fakes too. Yeah. Bay has to find Alpha, that's big. And holding on to the side isn't a tank. Yeah, Leo's out can go through, but it's not going to find too much. And the tank's closing the gap. He wants him gone. Gorgeous work from Gentlemates here. Not falling for the fake. This would need miracles from Chronicle. 1v5. 30 seconds. Yeah, I think.
30 seconds left. About all she's going to write for this one. But gentlemen are holding on, Mike. I mean, oh. oh. Chronicle. Took a lot of damage from that, though. Yeah. Down to 45. If he got it clean. Ah. There we go, Logan. Going to find it in the end. I'm curious to see the Hunter's Fury invested here, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not sure of exactly the timing of when Durka TP's in or when Bayaz finds the kill onto Alpha, I believe. Yeah, it's that kill right here. Oh. Durka TP's in, then the Hunter's Fury comes. So, yeah, little, little confusing here. Okay. Time for Matic will call a timeout on the back of that. Gentlemen, have found three on the mm. bounce here. Okay. Now we've got a couple of ults coming into play in the tank. Got his ready. Bayaz now has his. Viper's Pit, I mean, it's on the horizon. It's not quite here yet. But Fnatic hitting the brakes, deciding they want to check in. This is three in a row now. Don't want to let that scoreline get away. As said, roll your minds back to the desk. This is a turning point in the season. If you want to aim towards the top, if you want to get towards Shanghai, get those championship points, potentially. Got to start doing it now. Don't want to have any of those fumbles, losses, issues haunting you end of season. So 12 to 6, we slow things down. Fnatic going to be trying to, it looks like, go for a buy here as well. Maybe Leo lacking a little. For the Guardian, like I said in this sort of round. It would be nice to have him sit a little deeper, have the Hunter's Fury as a late round piece, but not going to be available. The other side, it's going to tank and Bayaz. Their ultimates here. Like I set up here for a flash into tube, and there is bodies on the other end of it. Bayaz is outside the door, but. Bayaz not caught by that, but he is going to swing this. Okay. One for one trade, but that it does create that issue, right? This map is vast. Those rotations take a long time. Taking that one player down will mean the gentlemen now need to be very cautious with where they commit their players. Yeah, you don't want to see a further commitment really towards a 1v1 or a, even an engagement ahead of sort of site pressure. Fnatic will freeze behind it. Whaler's drifting. Not looking to slow things down, just looking to shoulder towards the doors I here. That's exactly it, the wall's invested. Wall theft as well to come out. And the tank on the back of it. A little ahead of the curve, honestly. It's not going to find anything. Most up. It's a tag through, but that will leave the front door open for Fnatic. You are hearing Hunter's Fury come Spike through Chronicle. Planted. Unaffected by this. And Fnatic, with four standing, now gets into the post plant. Alpha's position could be dirty. Look at these potential flanks, yeah. You've got to keep in mind, Boaster as well. There's layers to this. The pressure through middle is the tank and Bayaz to try and keep hope alive in the flash. I mean, the tank still somehow comes out of that, and Bayaz digs his heels in. They are not letting this round go, but it's still Leo alive. It's kind of great for him. He has no. to get out now off the tap. But here we go. Choices, choices. What do you do? Bayaz now. Halfway achieved. Who's going to diff who here? Bears out half, and he's been put to bed. Fnatic yes. took the timeout, and then they take the round 13 to 6 to close this out. Yeah, a moment maybe to just catch their breaths. We'll see, maintain composure, but convincing overall here from Fnatic, Lauren. Yeah, it is, and Lotus on the horizon coming up after this.
fly straight to Costa Rica. Yeah. It's, a, it's a whole lot of ice on me. Don't, don't stand too close, cause you don't if you say that you might know me. No, you don't. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole lot of ice on me. Don't, don't stand too close, cause you don't if you say that you might know me. Hey, you know you don't know me, yeah, right. Step back, homie, don't let this freezer go dripping. Cause these jewels, these jewels might mess around and flood the whole kitchen. Took a bit to get it, was on a mission. And now it's platinum plaques, back to back. I spent a couple mil, you spent a whole rack. Bought the block, bought the block just to give it back. Remember, I was moving rocks, now I spit crack. Yeah. It's a whole lot of ice on me. Don't, don't stand too close, cause you don't if you say that you might know me. Welcome back to Valoran. It's been uh, quite the, the breezy show, shall we say so far. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like cut the pond momentarily. Uh, but yeah, Fnatic getting back to what we know them to do best, really, Kukuka. Yeah, exactly. I'm very happy to see what we saw. It looks like they've been to, uh, what's it called? Marriage counseling, like couples <laughs> therapy, because actually all the mistakes, all the miscommunications that we could see happening before now has been translated to a lot of communication and everything working in unison. Yeah, this is the Fnatic that we've come to expect. But on the flip side of that as well, we, they did win both epistles and they did win a few clutches in there. So maybe if we went and, and had a few more rounds, maybe Gentle Mates could have put up more of a fight. But it is definitely Fnatic, the Fnatic that we want to see. When we do look at Gentle Mates, though, the fact that they did manage to cling on at least for a few rounds, it feels like the individuals of Gentle Mates, they do actually start stepping up when things kind of hit the fan. It's just they kind of do it a little bit too late. They do do it a little bit too late. I think part of that, though, was how Dirke was so aggressive. He was in such aggressive positions that he was able to find these multiple 2K rounds where he gets behind them or he's just down middle inserted in a very aggressive position and it really just disrupts the entire play from Gentle Mates. Yeah, but I think that if we think about Derke and how he performed, I think it was beautiful. I think that you wanted to take a look at this, uh, Josh, in the round five. Yeah, so right here, this is just the limitation of, of the Phoenix wall from Gentle Mates here. So Chronicle finding the gap here between the wall and the pyramid, being able to take this out and really just... Uh, Gentle Mates the entire game basically was trying to do these elaborate fake plans where the Viper walls on one side of the map, let's say on this round, for example, it was a B, and then they use the Phoenix wall to get out A, and they could do the, the inverse of that. So the, the Viper wall at, at A, and then they go out with the Phoenix wall at B. So a way to do that, other teams run like Astra and, and use a second controller for the smokes but that's the limitations of it. That wall doesn't extend all the way. I think the Chronicle was brilliant uh, here, and I want to see it more today. But it's, it's this, uh, I guess, this uh, tendency to want to fake from Gentle Mace, it's probably a coach existence thing, but is that kind of a waste of your util? 
Uh, it, it's not a waste. Definitely, there is a there is a plan in everything that they do, and they also like to fake it a lot. But that I, I think it brings back to what we were talking before the match started, and it has to be Berke and the way that he performed. He was being supported by by Leo, by Alpha, by everyone, uh, just to get some kills. I think that he also had a lot of effect, not only on the pistol round, which was beautiful, but we saw him TP. We saw him using beautiful ultimates, even on the go. To me, it does come down to comfort, and it's not only coming from him, but the way he was being set up. This one here is beautiful. He gets the tag, he can go for the kill, and and again, the ultimates that he was using and the shots that he was hitting, this is prime Durka. This is the Durka that makes Fnatic such a menace. You know, it's it's again, it's the Fnatic that we saw last year that everybody should be afraid of. This is the Euro that we were promised. On yes, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and a lot of it came down to, and it, yeah, he did get set up in a few different instances there, but as we see through these highlights, a lot of the plays are about well, he him wants to being, correct numerically. having and good decision-making, mm -hmm. good positioning, now for and good find confidence. Logan. So the confidence away, to be in really aggressive positions, to be able to get those kills, sometimes get out, uh, peeking with his own flash, mm -hmm. and just moving around the map in a very aggressive manner, and obviously, getting all this info with the Eurowalti, making gentlemates feel very stressed out, and he was able to convert a lot of those rounds this time, unlike but last week. I feel like uh, Durka is probably given Aimlabs warm up a run for his money right now because he's already shown us an absolute masterclass in aiming. He's got all the freedom in the world as well when he's warming up in this map, and it seems like that's kind of what he needed, really. Yeah, exactly. I, I love to see him in Lotus because if we look at the next map, uh, we expect gentlemates to run again the double duelist. But if Dirk is having a good game, I think he, he's going to be uh, finding up a lot of space, and they have to focus on what the composition with two duelists is actually lacking and how they can force those mistakes. Well, that's a good kind of question because Durka hasn't looked really good on Lotus, on mm -hmm. Raze. We've seen him look good on other agents or other maps, but his Raze on Lotus, I feel like that's the big question mark. Is he going to show up? Are they going to change something out? Is Fnatic even going to drop Raze and go for something else? That is like, those okay. are the questions that go into this because that is their weak point for sure. Some of the mistakes that I definitely saw when they were playing against Heretics with this composition is that there was a little bit of, I'm not gonna say, uh, definitely the synergy wasn't there. Sometimes Util was being used, nobody was following. The trust was not there, but if everything goes uh, the way that it went on Breeze, it should be just beautiful to watch. Yeah, and there we, we do see the rays. And then also for Gentlemen, okay. They're doing the same composition that they, they ran the last time they played this map, and it, it's it's with a double duelist and no mm. info initiator, no Sova, Fade, uh, just anyone that can get, it's even Sky with a the dog. You, they have to do all these blind traps on their defense side where they just have to just yeah. use their util. They don't know for sure if there's going to be enemies there or not. Yeah, actually, it's the Cypher coming in for Whalers, and Logan is going to be taking the, the controller, right? Solo controller with the Omen. They have to be extra aggressive. I don't think the Freddy attack is going to be... Uh, very complicated, but again, they have a lot of explosive power to get onto sites. The problem is that they do not have an uh, info gathering um, utility. Now they do have a little bit uh, with the cipher, but that would be uh, more important on the, on the defense. Well, luckily, we have got two spies in the midst. Well, actually, they're in a commentary booth and they're going to talk us through this one. It's Pampo. It's for you, Frankie, and the desk. We'll do our very, very best here. Um, what do you make of this then? Composition-wise, I know we were a little bit of touch on Durka or on the race, but I want to look at Gentlemates here. Where do you see the chances laying? Because your face is telling me not good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, I can see you though, I mean, Michael. It's, yeah, it's an adjustment. <laughs> uh, I, yep. I made a point at the start of the day. I want to see Gentlemates start exploring variations of compositions, a little more diversity. So, sure, we'll pin that, call it a positive. The solo controller worries me. The, the Cypher yeah. alongside the Breach, maybe a little bit of... Uh, stonks, you could say, right. there. But um, yeah, well, the proof's in the pudding, ultimately. It is, and I'm seeing a very curious start here. Once you get your eyes in game, top left, folks. Fnatic, go and walk about. Somebody's being flashbanged somewhere in the universe, but got a silhouette of it. Dead to mates all the way through tree already, though. I mean, playing as five, just gonna take this. It, 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 the flank is quick. Now, they, they, hey, they might they'll obviously be aware of it somewhat because of, you know, Whaler's utility. Yeah, no, yeah, but no pressure coming through heaven and also this tripwire being dealt with. 
Oh, well, it, it, this looks like the normal start to a round almost, right? It's like, oh, it's just an A-take. Oh, wait, no, Fnatic aren't actually on the attacking side. Um, but you can see the exchange of space. Both are seemingly aware, trying to keep control of some part of CT, but the issue is they're going to be locked off. They, they don't have favorable numbers to fight that. They do take down Takas, but they still need some more pressure on the site itself. We're looking for this post plant now. How much they have stunning flash from the tank. Gorgeous, you couldn't ask for a better one. And Whaler's deeper angle should have paid off there, but he doesn't quite get what he wants, but you can hear it ticking. Time. Uh, not going to be on their side. Yeah, this this should be done. I've got to say it, the tank having a belting round here. Genuinely very topsy-turvy, though. It was. The entire map gets flipped here on A site. Again, with no real resistance on the way in, there is still a chance for the tank to make use of the flash. He absolutely does. Yeah, I love the decision making as well. Mm. The gentleman to dig a little deeper. Yes, they're punished on that aggression in, but they actually maintain control of heaven, which is pivotal in terms of a pistol round in particular. And I argue that maybe at that stage of the round, utility is lacking. These crosses are going to be punishable. Yeah. Love that from gentleman to get themselves on the board here. Really, really nice from them. Taking the space they were given. And again, having that utility late. Just the icing on the cake. Now, outside of this round, only Alpha coming in with uh, a Sheriff. And wow, Logan making quick moves of two. It should be clean. You may be hoping the tank gets that ult ready to go here. But he is on the other side of the map. So it would be, if anything, Alpha, his chance to get that one up and ready to go. Might be over towards CT. Alpha now doesn't particularly love that wall coming in. So you're going to have to wait this one out. The plant's there. Five still standing. And the tank chomping at the bit. Once in, a little early on that one, but still, job done. That's the ult, ready to go for the buy round. And now Leo and Alpha, well, not much more left to do. If they can make it costly, maybe take away a rifle or maybe a bulldog. Make it a little bit trickier, they'd be happy, but you probably don't have much more of a say. And if anything, Takas now wants to farm his ult up. I mean, if Takas finds these last two, Leo. Sharp with the classic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the tank hits him with the drive by though. Matt Spectre gets upgraded to come into the buy round here. As you noted, early progress already. Well secure, the running back. Chance here for Gentlemen to just find a, a trade out here <laughs> on the back of that ultimate early. Oh, what's it oh, fanatics are gonna. Fnatic are going to, sorry, mm. respect that play a little yeah. deeper here, try and mitigate some of the risk early on. That noise is really upsetting me. It's rather unpleasant. Thank you, Durka. Can you pick his skins again so he doesn't do this to us? Oh dear, he is a lucky boy. Takas was so close by to that. And pressure across the map, really. Very hard to get that comfort already going. You can see it. Already trying to lean a little forward. Whalers gets That's caught drifting. That's the spike. spike. I don't... Uh, if someone takes over door position, if they clear this... I mean, the tank can retrieve it with his ultimate, but... It's probably not how he wanted no. to do things. I mean, Whether or not yeah. things are going to stabilize a little bit now. But, I mean, Fnatic have given it up. They're happy to just say... Well, I mean, have it if you want. Yeah, and gentlemen don't know down. that. Yeah, exactly. Burn yeah. the clock down a little bit until gentlemen figure that out. But uh, if they decide to uh, swing this door open, you don't need to do that. Joke's over. You're dead. Um, Did you hear that? No, spike. they didn't. Luckily, okay. the tank, they didn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, spikes there. Well, um, but what are we? What are we up to here? I'm a little nervous. Yeah. They figured it out. Yeah. What down. the hell See. just happened, Mike? Wasn't the best plan there, really. No. <laughs> Don't want to see that one on the replay, but I think we I might. I think we will. I think we will. Plant comes through, though. Logan and Takas a chance to maybe recover this. Ah, Takas. Really the only one. I mean, Logan's got 52 HP and a Bulldog. Might be able to do something, but no, no kid. No paranoia. No smoke. Ah, and the angle. Yeah, Logan's going to find one. Try and slip a little bit deeper towards CT, but the smoke going to go up from Poster. Almost caught him, but not close enough. Poster there. Fnatic with three standing. Diffuse coming in. And going to be honest, a little bit of a fumble there from Gentlemates. Yeah, four alive, the tank solo. Mm. Pops the ult, comes through, tries the plant, then looks to upgrade his weapon. Mm. Yeah. That's oh. rough. That's really rough. One enemy 
I love him. Just, just dogging the bro, street. I did like one million damage. You bark on get zero before. frags, bro. Don't worry, Chronicle. You did all the damage. You got three assists. We believe in you. Caution here. <laughs> You're fine. My we... assist king. <laughs> There. Can we just know every assist he gets, just so he, you know, gets well, the now we'll platitude yeah. he deserves. Right, let's, I'll make a little note. Well, this spam doesn't catch too much here. Almost tempted to go down and mute Dirk <laughs> PC. <laughs> At least here, gentlemen, looking for an entry point. Not going to find anything that tickles their fancy over towards rubble. Actually, curious purchase. You look at how things have settled here. Or oh, Bears is just looking to run it down a little bit with the stingy. Uh, the front man alongside the tank, who's oh. currently cooking. Oh. Not in the way you want to see oh. it. <laughs> no, you can't come in here. That's, that was horrible to witness. It's like an assault course. He's got isolated at the end, so not going to have the run he wanted. Do they, they still try and the now? They... All the KJ utilities gone. Like the, there's a rifle in here to mm. maybe upgrade for Bayaz, but already Fnatic uh, yeah, are really Leo's into that. Leo's already left. over here. Looks like going to go for a dry hit, which a bit dangerous. Chronicle might be getting some more assists, but certainly no more Alpha's kills. Traded, though. He does. Leo trying to lean a bit closer, disrespecting the smoke and trying to get ahead from this. But you can already see the box position taken up here by Logan, that paranoia. Yeah, going to be an issue. Leo can't really play out from this one. Needs to wait on the support here, but he's on his own. He's got to be careful. Boaster and Durka are coming, but they're a little bit later to the party than maybe he would have liked. Detail to pull some out of position. Oh, Durka, look at that, dives right on in. And he was teed off for success. The paranoia just perfect. And yeah, that is stunning from Durka and Fnatic. A quick, clean... And what feels like a brief round. Tie things up to a piece. You're right, yeah, Fnatic showing real pace on the way back in here. Yeah. I wonder if he's listening. I hope. Uh, no, no, nothing. No. Well, we were just, you know, because of the Odin, obviously. Yeah. I wonder if Mitra six. I know he loves an Odin. <coughs> two two. Well, hopefully, gentlemen, not defeated yet. Not on the faces. No. Just focused up. Oh, di oh, di oh, oh! It's not gone well. <laughs> losing out on the spam <laughs> battle, by the way. That's what you get for doing this. Please don't spam. I mean, there's. Do it again. Oh, yeah, it's got a guardian. <laughs> I'll do it again. I think again. he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, unconfirmed damage. So, oh. unless I can see Durka across the stage, because you could see him, <laughs> you could see him not very happy about it. Maybe. Thirty-three HP puts himself behind a squishy box, actually. <laughs> oh, good. Well, fortunately, he doesn't have the Odin anymore. That's boast up. Pick up the roll, and the attention on the other side of the map. The fakie boys back in practice. But they're really committing to this site, and they've got the spike here, and... Uh, what? Spike the other two down. are so far See. away. They're it, just trying to capitalise on... You know, Gentleman's creating yeah. some pressure towards rubble, but unfortunately it's... Didn't feel threatening. Yeah. Modified Modified Durga Durga dies uh, farming some more assists, remaining. actually. Yeah. There. If you got 30 seconds. Has he got a kill yet? No, I did Oh, God, I did Snake bite was good, though. <laughs> Support player Michael just... <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that one. So well-timed. Logan, don't try and tease with the crowd. Don't, don't be looking through walls. It's not going to work. Oh, he's waiting. There's a kill. There's a kill. Wait, was that the first? I don't know. We'll check on the board. Your scoreboard, quick. Yeah, come on, just throw it up for us. He's up to two. He's up to two. Six, Six assists, assists though. I mean, you said it before. The assist king. And there's his highlight reel. <laughs> Oh, there was actually. That was this game. Yeah, he got this round. on the first one. I thought it was Alpha the goal. Three of those. No. no. There he is. Alpha just stealing all his kills. That's crazy. Three in a row now for Fnatic. We need gentlemates to answer back pretty soon. By coming in, we do have the ult for Takas. 
an early spot on the player. Look at the dead. damage. Yeah. yeah, no escape. Beautiful Again, combo. Yeah, you can see the work they've been putting in here. And a tank wants in. And he's found a victim. Oh, dearie me. He can't escape that, though. And Durka gets out with his life. And Leo, yeah, does go down. Chronicle to try and find some damage this time around. Yeah. Ravilla's position, Whaler's a chance maybe to creep up on him. Alpha's there to play safety net. Got himself into a weird spot now, but. Oh, one away from the ult. Bears. Chance there, adjustment on the utility. That Chronicle creeping back onto this angle. Whaler's. Killing machine. Yeah. Really <laughs> looking to uh, match the assists now. That's it. What the hell is this, though? Oh, wow. look at him yeah. now. Finally reaping the benefits of all of that work he was putting in earlier. There he is, small smile. He's like, yeah, no more assists for me. Oh, I'm getting all the kills. And yeah, I mean, I, I almost want to see a timeout from Genomates, maybe, or something. I mean, they've got a lot of ults to bring in. I don't know what the buy's going to look like behind it, though. It's a bit shaky. Not happy with that round. No. No. I like the way we've gone back to mini coaching style. Yeah. Disappointed hand in the air. Four in a row, disappointed. <laughs> Let's take them. Oh. Need better. <laughs> but yeah, ultimates here, whether or not we do see any investment from gentle mates. Oh. Going anti flash for this. Oh, he turns Beautiful. back in time. He looked blind as anything, but still came out of it just enough to see the pixels out of place. <laughs> and look at the damage done. Careful now. Tank and Bayaz down to 45, and the tank obviously will heal up. I'm sure if Boaster got flashed off the angle there, but isolated from Durka a little bit. Durka was kind of left out to commit to that 1v3 or 4 situation. Smoke the tank. Ready. A rifle and the ultimate, though. I mean, still, it is a 3v4. But just seeing the rolling thunder. And I mean, any duelist ultimate being available, to be honest with you, going up. makes damage a real possibility. Shadows. Forever. Go, waiting for this. Okay, there's the answer from Chronicle. Well, that's going to force them in towards B. The tank's in a similar situation. This time around, no real left. threat from the ultimate through mm -hmm. the door, unless Ooh, Boaster creeps Logan. back that way. No, the tank's on site already, anyway. I like this position from Logan, though. Could be pretty involved. Oh, the timing. Alpha just crests the corner, turning his attention towards that B site, as he should have done. But it's Bayaz with the almost aggressive lean there towards CT and a catch on timing. Chronicle Jokes wasn't over. looking the right Not way. And now Boaster and Leo got their work cut out. But they found Bayaz. And now the tank needs to find one while his ult's still going. He knows where the other player is. And now Boaster put through his paces. Smoke is there. Does that reach it? Certainly does. Poster burning alive! The tank. Big impact this round, gentle mates. Get in this one, building back here, answering back to those four rounds in a row. I'm just curious of whether or not in the tank, because it looked like the tank throws the flash. I'm talking about the early round, sorry, when uh, Boaster's isolated from Durka, but Durka fully commits towards the challenge. Yeah, maybe just over the top of mound there. I think he actually comes back to reset for the yeah. paranoia. But yeah, it's almost the, the butterfly effect here. That rifle upgrade at the start of the round comes full circle. Maybe existence not expecting a round win there. Calls a timeout yeah. to discuss the, uh, the buy round coming up. Plenty yeah. of ultimates available. I hope he wasn't going to talk about the running back. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> what is it? There's no fudge here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to quote that right now. <laughs> I'll start breaking out Harry Potter quotes and no one wants that. <laughs> He's going to sacrifice himself. <laughs> but yeah, um, good <laughs> yeah. chance for uh, Gentle Mace to springboard off that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like I said, you look towards the Rolling Thunder, this composition alongside, like I said, any duelist ultimate really gives you a good catalyst for any round. I, I do want to see it not just be on the shoulders and off in the tank, though. You know what I mean? Like, he's sitting on 11 to 4. 
He's, he's doing it. I mean, that was a 4K from him last round. He is getting them rounds, but I want to see it to be a collective effort. Daka still one kill here. I want to see them start to... Kind of, I don't know, make it work as a collective. He's not been having the best game today, but... See what they can do now. A little bit of a time out there, just coming out of this. Plenty of ults to play with. So many different options. And the observers just want to bring me pain mm. by only showing that perspective. Thank you. I've, 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 I've yes, turned, thank you, observers. I've turned the uh, <laughs> program feed all the way down to mute. Oh, yes, Sylv. Thank you. It's almost like Durka can hear us as well. <laughs> oh, Boaster, though. Trying to offset the timing. And actually, it's Durka to find Takas as well. So they've dealt with one side of this approach, but we know that the fakie boys of Gentlemates will be on the other side this of the map. Isn't the sort of thing you want to see on this this round? With this setup, these ultimates available, you don't want to see a split focus. Unless you see maybe the Rolling Thunder invested with a smoke or something to sell a fake. Mm. It just seems uh, a little odd here. Oh, well, he's got support, and I like that, but look how quickly they've already got to wow. this one. They've got to try and a response here, and a tank gain stopping, finally denied by Leo. So the lockdown will come through. Logan has to back away. Leo tucks into the smoke as well. Yeah, Logan, oh. rightfully. Yep. Wary, 12 seconds left. We'll have to give this one up to the clock. 10 seconds mm. left. Dead. Be a response found here from Fnatic very quickly. And I just wish they had a couple more bodies there on the side. They could have maybe even traded out Leo there, potentially. I don't like the split push when they have these ults, when they've been having that level of success on the site. You know what I mean? I just, yeah, I'd I just, i like mean, to see them come at this as five. The, the thing is, as well, you, you've... Bayaz caught ahead of the wall here as well, and if there's no, there's no further commitment behind this, you've got to start asking tough questions like, why is he there then? Yeah. Like, what are you uh, what, trying to achieve? Yeah, on what's this? he trying to do at that point of the round? Because they're faking on the opposite side of the map to the Killjoy setup. It's just that they're, they're never going to have instant value no. of like leaving a double lurk that is your initiator and duelist. And like you've said, unless Ooh. you have those extra bodies in place on the other, it, a team like Fnatic on a good day will just shut down those sort of things. Yeah. Back to same, it. Yeah, same thing again. Bayaz and Takas over the other side of the map. Good amount of chip damage here too. Uh, maybe the tank being here could have helped out, but they're, they're not moving anyone. Now, yeah, if they want to fake though, they need to remove this utility and Alpha's been pulling it further and further away right from there. the choke point because they've been finding value off it time and time Jokes again. Over. You're dead. Okay. Now, I was going to say, pathing wise, this could be what's required, but Chronicle shuts it down pretty quickly. And Gentleman's going to try and find some timing towards B here. Now, this is where two ultimates, being the Rolling Thunder and the Showstopper, can cause a ton of damage in the close quarters. Yeah, Fnatic are very close by, though. But you're right. Look at the ults the Gentleman's have to work with. This should be enough to keep them back. But here's the counter swing, and Fnatic succeed. Chronicle couldn't have done better. Teed up and delivers on it. Logan trying to find Alpha, and he finds the wrong end of the stick on that one. It's Whalers in a 1v5, and the ult had come in. There's nothing he can do here. Fnatic, fabulous work back there. Really timing it well to apply the pressure. But the fact is, they were so focused towards CT from Gentlemates, they just completely left Chronicle with options. Yeah. And it, it's tough now. You look at bigger picture. We're talking about the snowball round that's potentially on the brink for Gentlemates. And unfortunately, the Rolling Thunder and Showstopper. I mean, it's a tough way to see it get shut down. You could argue it's used proactively, but. That goes there. Execution lacking just a little bit. Yep. Back on a broken purchase as well. They have a spike. Oh. Well. Well, that's not who you want to see fall first when he's been controlling. Well. I was going to say controlling the tempo, but Takas actually puts his life on the line here to try and follow up on that with a double satchel. Oh, sacrificing himself. to the slaughter almost. Yeah. There must be another way. No, he can't though. <sighs> I 
Whalers now. Just that Vandal. One to seven. He's not... But I've got to say, gentlemen, don't look comfortable here. This is obviously no, Fnatic's they, choice, they, but they just, they're just yeah, they not they, looking in their comfort zone at all. They look a little lost for answers. Yeah. Difficult to really figure things out. If the plan is for, you know, two people to really command that much pressure, and then you could argue that the game plan's never really getting off the ground. Yeah. It's not finding any left. traction whatsoever, which, again, even all said and done, 6-3 is still recoverable here. Absolutely. With a couple of rounds left here in the first half. Oh. Play as, I was going to say, yeah, got to be careful here not to Time. get caught. They're down the the ten. Here, but this is nice. Oh, it's just it's too late the in the day. It is, and they're there. There's so many players on this site already. Yeah, Fnatic. If Gentlemates want to stop Fnatic getting this 2 0, they, they need to do a little more here. I, I, I don't know what else they can do, Mike. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling lost for answers watching them, and this feels desperate. Uh, no, it definitely does. I think uh, we saw similar sorts of scenes mm. for Gentlemates previously. Nice, nice Jake. Good comp. It's fine. Good comps. Good comps. Great comps. Frags? Ah, comps, though. Up. Oh. Tell you what could really change the tides, though, an attacking Cypher operator. <laughs> yes. Now, let's see if I can get drawing on this one. I mean, it's rough because... It, it, right here. Gentlemates have struggled to pin down opening engagements, so to now have something that indicates slowing things down even further. Navi S crowns. <laughs> Existence has taken a leap out of one of Angel's older books. Yes, yes. I feel like that's not an existence call, if I'm honest. No. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so, right. Space gets taken a beat. Should be a plan to follow. Nothing to really dissuade that. Takas going to take the space that was available, but Leo does have, I think, quite a bit of kit uh, to I retake mean, this basically area. Basically, have everything to yep. come back at this. There it is, and Takas is now in a bit of a predicament. Gets cleared off with no, no he's got kind of, showstopper now as well. With no double pump and no pressure points early, they have all this utility. And look what he's doing. Whalers has now decided the operator should be a shotgun. And funny enough, it didn't work very well. So Logan now has to well feign falling away, but he can't because the diffuser is going to come in. The music, yeah. Yep. Oh, well. Well. Sit back and watch this one. Pass it by. Well, half will seal the deal. 8-3 now. Financially, it'll be a tough purchase here for gentlemates. And yeah, in this situation, I mean, the last person you want to see get a kill ahead of this retake getting started is Durka. Can even come down to it. Carries the showstopper yep. across into the next. Um, and we, I love seeing this. I'm so glad we got to see it because. The alarm bot has been kind of giving it away, right? It's been the, the, the amount they've had to work to try and clear that utility, to try and do all of this, but it feels like it's just not ingrained into the steps the gentlemates are taking. A TP... I mean, like, yeah, Logan's just trying to uh, draw yeah. some people away from the choke points. Which kind of works, because now they're having to turn attention. I kind of like this. Gentlemates are now taking the space that has to be respected. But look at the spike. Mm. Careful now. This is all They a might fake. start questioning going, there's no plant yet. Still no plant. Does Bose to take his TP as a fact finder? Let's have the ult there if he fancies it. And I think the penny has indeed dropped. A nice nice fake here. This worked out actually quite well for Gentlemates, but it is still a 5v5. And you look at the ults the Fnatic have. Some of those are very influential. And Alpha's oh. positioning gets outdone. Takas claims some space for himself. And they've completely evacuated site. Yeah, respecting the showstopper. Joke's over! You're dead! Run it back now, sent. I'm a little nervous they're this deep, though. They are going to have to clear back through, and yeah, the tank's done really well. That bay has to follow suit. Yeah, this is much better. Chronicle gets handled. Takas gets involved, and they carve away a little bit of room, Mike, but it's not been a comfortable half by any no, means. No, no, absolutely not. And even this last one's almost like a, a lifeline thrown to gentlemen, to be honest yeah. with you. Yep. Fnatic, I guess a little bit more pace thrown into this fake towards C. And even here with the pit, again, you're relying on audio cues on the outside. Like you said, the plant doesn't come. But ahead of that, 
Fnatic just fully rotate, fully give up the rest of the map. Well, they have looked very comfortable at sitting back and allowing mm. Gentlemen the time and space to set themselves up and getting dissected, to be honest with you, on the, on the retake. Nice word, dissected. Yeah? With surgical precision. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Are we hot mics right now? Are we? I don't know. We're going out live? Uh, probably. Right. Four rounds. I want to see a pistol round here, if I'm honest with gentlemates. Could even that score line up a little bit. I don't mind them being proactive either. Got to work with what you got. I mean, yeah, this is a full reason. Look at the tripwire over towards... Alpha's Watch taking a here. look. I'll find you. Yeah. I say, yeah, this was the intention from the get-go. Alpha with a Sheriff can do some real damage from there, but mm -hmm. that will be the indicator for Gentle. Oh, oh just yeah. gave that up. <laughs> not sure if he would have got a ping off the minimap there, actually. Oh, okay. This is this is nice. This actually could allow them the gap close here, and it does. The tank set in Fantastic. motion. Takas on the follow-up. This is lovely stuff. Much better. Okay. Boaster and Chronicle. Lots to handle. Boaster's going to take the fur. No, 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 not like this. Oh, dear. It looks so ready for Gentlemates to take that big step in the second half here, but denied in the end. And Fnatic will be happy with that one. Reset into a much deeper hold here after losing out on Mount. Most a little confused as to what's coming out of the crowd there. But yeah, I mean... support Boaster, all right? I know you've had a rough couple of weeks, but they're on your side. Boaster find the two crucial kills there to really, uh, I guess, slam the brakes on. Slow things down there. And, and I kind of like seeing Existence get a little fired up by seeing the loss in that, because you could tell the gravitas of that round that they just yeah, lost. The, the, yeah, the bigger, the bigger swing there is to actually get themselves past mound. Obviously, succeed in having yes. three people on the flank, but then things fall apart when they can't get onto site and trade effectively. It's, it's definitely the more tilting part of it to go wrong when you're in a 5v3 yeah. coming back onto site, especially in the pistol as well, where it's like bodies, throw them on angles, force Fnatic deeper and overwhelm individuals. Logan's caught enough of an audio cue. He knows where they're heading. And gentlemates will have bodies on the site. Four of them here. And still a lot of utility in play. Bayaz, the tank. They've got a fair bit of kit now. Takas even still has that paint shell as well. Can they deal with this? Is there going to be that late pivot towards B? We know Fnatic have run that in the yeah. past. Superior weapons for 30, 30 seconds. seconds. This stack has been read. I mean, that's a ton of information. Why don't they still commit here? Okay, wow. oh, okay. Oh, that, that, that almost committing. breaks my heart. Because they got the read right. I liked what they were trying to do with Logan there. But, I mean, hey, welcome to bigger weapons, better utility, yeah. and good synergy, good spacing. No threats and just spam through the cage. Alpha going to find Logan in the end, and it's double digits for Fnatic. So you need gentle mates to put something up here in round three, the second half. <laughs> I mean, the second, a bit of a freebie for Durka there. Like I said, the reveal Flawless. from Leo, giving the game away on a site. Yeah, and Andalusia, flawless, not gonna help out matters coming into this round as well. Money gonna be sitting comfortably. You already have the ult there for Durka too. Just compounding the problems. Hey, as feeling the pressure early. Rightly so, I mean, Fnatic are behind this. They are actively, I could say, rubble. And they got it. Gentlemates, hold on. It's not really spamming away particularly here. Could be in the right place for it, though. Yeah, Bayaz has had a ton of audio cues. There we go. That's one. That could have been a second. It wasn't. It was actually Alpha to claim Bayaz yeah. in the end. Still, 
it's revealed a lot of what Fnatic are up to, so the rotations are coming in, but Tank is still a little bit ahead of this. So that isolated, the Durk can take the space. He wants more, securing the site as he goes, but the timing right for Logan, but on a second glimpse, Durk oh, catches planted. him. His Chronicles find Whalers, and now the support system's gone. Oh, this is lonely work for Logan, but he might be able to get a little bit of a dump. Durk has gone, but his support gets taken away. Logan, a nice attempt, but it's not enough. It's too alive, and Fnatic make it to 11 here. Gentlemates fading away. Yeah, unfortunately, with the flawless in the previous, Fnatic are going to look fairly flush financially. Gentlemates will be struggling. Nice clean up as well. It was Alpha to find the entry there. It looks as if it was going to be Durka. Yeah. We will see a Gentlemates timeout. Mm. And I think. It, Now's the time to kind of revisit that question. We come into this series, uh, or certainly I had coming into this series, which is, you know, what have Gentlemates really been doing in terms of their perspective of the meta currently and how yeah. they want to approach, obviously, this much longer stretch, I guess, versus VCT teams this year. And I think we come back to some of the things we've raised on the cast now about difficulty finding answers or, you know, how to overcome certain things. A breeze, I think the examples were uh, Fnatic just being very decisive and mm -hmm. Gentlemen didn't really know how to adapt to that. Yep. Here, I'll, I'll be honest, it, it, for me, it just looks like the, the playbook's a little off. They, they've, they've not had the right approach overall to the first half at all, yep. in my eyes. They've not found success in areas that they've really invested behind. And this is the point, unfortunately, then you do look back at, well, is it a comp issue or is it kind of a, everybody on the same page issue? And, and it is, that is the tricky part when they run such a kind of um, off-meta comp so I mean, This, this is Feast or Famine. It's, it's, yes. it's the same sort of thing as running a Reino. Unless you're going to have the Phoenix drop in 25-30 every game and everybody else is able to pull their weight and... It just doesn't look good, does it? It's, no. it that's the tricky part. And, and again, yeah, Natank is putting up some numbers. It's not... But it's not enough. Sure, but it's uh, not I, enough. I guess the second leg to that is that Reino or Phoenix performance needs to really force the opposing team you know, back in their shelf. And yes. Fnatic just aren't that sort of team. They'll find space elsewhere on the map to counterbalance whatever you're trying to do with that heavy front line. I think that's ultimately what we did see certain examples in the first half. Yeah. I mean, though, I mean, Perch is looking probably better than I thought, actually. It's serviceable. Yeah, for gentle mates. No real gaps in utility oh. either. It does feel like do or die. Round 16 here. Blinding. Lost bonus will be there for the next, but backs against the wall now. Okay. Logan, Takas, Whalers. This is it. It's got to be right. The paranoia is being cooked up here. Gets posted on both sides. Whaler's going to catch it on one. You can see Logan now forced away as well. The second hit going to come through now. Fnatic want to commit towards this one. There's Dirk step forward. Whaler's in a lot of danger. You can see how hard it is to hold this site actively. You almost have to give it up a touch, play it back in, and that's exactly what they're doing with the run it back. The tank tries to take the space, but it's Logan to deliver the fatal blow. Trades back and forth. No plant yet. All players on the right side of the map, and with 13 seconds, Takas trying to gap close here. Outdone by Durka. Plant secured. Time on Fnatic's side. Bayers in the tank. Got to find value now. Durka ready. Does get caught by the flash, though. That's a chance, but it's traded. Bayers now 1v2. What you got for us here? Anything up the sleeve? No. Leo's not going to allow it. Fnatic make it to 12. And Gentlemates left to rot on four. He said with the force coming through, when it did, the purchase will be uncomfortable here. This is another one, though. It's just, if you make this comparison to where, you know, Gentleways did group and hit a side together, just the, the difference in utility, the different, the protocol list on the way in, the execution, unfortunately, yep. are stark contrasts to be made. Three Guardians, two Bulldogs, a TP for Logan. on the verge here, two by door as well. The problem is this, this paranoia probably won't catch everyone that he wants it. I think it might just catch Durker. I don't think the others were affected, no. And Fnatic so ready for this. Catching them by door, catching them on the door open as well. Oh man, this is going from bad to worse. You even got the lockdown ready. Chronicle's got his ult too. Everything coming together. You can already see it now. 
They have to dip so far away here, gentlemates. It's down to the last three. A 5v3 retake versus Fnatic with utility. Mm -hmm. with lacking oh. weapons. You're just a, hearing it. Yeah, with a pit layered on top here. There. It's going from bad to worse, isn't it? Tough times now ahead. Speaking of timing, keep in mind Bayer's and Leo's timing on each other, but both are already going to find both of the players near the site itself, and Bayer's drifting into the eyes of Leo. Yeah, Bayer's going to get one and a second. He's got his ult. He needs more, though, and they are putting bodies on the line. It's 13 to 4. Fnatic really trounced gentlemates here. This map didn't feel close. No, it didn't. Felt like a major gap between these two teams, unfortunately, today. And concerns continue to grow in my eyes for gentlemen. Like I said, don't want to beat a dead horse, but coming back to some of the real fundamental issues of what we've seen so far. But doubling it down for Fnatic. Return to form, looking yeah. clean, looking composed, looking in control of a lot of these rounds. Durka returning to uh, some of that form of old, you could say. Looking fantastic on the Euro this time. I guess this is the urban myth from Twitter <laughs> that we've heard about. Yeah. No, I, I think you're right. I, I do want to highlight that specifically map one felt more competitive than map two. I think map one, we saw a lot of the better looks from Fnatic that we've been waiting to see. A lot of the synergies looking good, seeing kind of Leo, Alpha working together, Durka towards the top, Chronicle having a great game, actually. Especially in map two after saying the, you know, the assist he was getting ended on 11 with, I think he was top fragging in the server. So certainly a good performance from him. But again, Fnatic looking good today, I think. Starting to correct some of those doubters out there. But again, gentlemen, maybe not the opponent yet to fully test them. No, I think I, no. At, yeah. Uh, come back to something similar as well that we said last week, which is you are still going to cut, gentlemen. It's a little bit of slack. Of course you will. No roster change coming in. Obviously, they're very early on in the lifespan. There's still hope for this team, but I, I think we're at the turning point of now where we, we do need to see some kind of marked improvements along, whether yes. that be performance, whether that be some of the composition changes that we're seeing.